My name is Shane and I have a problem. Yes, guys, I'm gonna be real with you. I've got a problem. I've got an addiction. I like fine things. I like nice clothes. But more importantly, I love designer sneakers designer trainers, whatever you call them, from wherever you are around the world. I love designer footwear. To an extent where it's a problem. Now let me give this problem some context. So, I have worn Christian Louboutins for, I'd say, six, seven years now. Like, Oh, and, and the problem is like when I get them, if I buy one pair, I have to buy five pairs. Then like I might go a year and I don't buy any because I've got trainers on rotation and stuff like that. Or like trends come and go. But then I'm always sucked back in. I love Le Bouton. But I'm not sure if it's getting quite out of hand. I'm looking down right now at the floor and there's so many pairs like Let's just go into what I've copped lately, yeah? We'll start with what I've copped lately and then we're gonna go into, well, some of my history. Now, I wanna give you a bit of context. If you've seen my other videos, you've seen I, what I like, I have love Balenciagas. I've got quite a few pairs of Balenciagas. If you wanna see me do a video on all my Balenciagas, Leave a note in the comments so I can obviously make that happen. Leave a like so I know that you're into this content. Um, I don't know, I like, I'm a huge Adidas. Really, my trainer's choice are Adidas. Like, I'm a huge Boost fan. I like Yeezys because I think they're comfortable as hell. Or Louboutin, like, they're my main thing. Is like, Balenciaga, I've got like a bit of a collection of those, but they're more of a recent thing. Um, but yeah, lubes are my thing. Lube, I could wear lubes every day. But here's where the problem kicks in. I have so many pairs, but my rotation is quite slim. So I'm gonna show you some of the new bits I copped. So, as you can see, recently I've copped some of these bad boys. So what have we got in this box? Now, I wanna have a disclaimer here, yeah? So like, one of the reasons I started getting a lot of these uh, like Balenciagas and stuff were because you know when like Adidas or like when Yeezys were going for like £500, £1,000 on resale, I was just like, why am I going to spend £1,000 on a £100, £150 trainer? I'd rather buy a Balenciaga and that's why, like to me that's logical. So I'm not guilty about any of that, but let's look at some of the stuff I've picked up this year. Again, so like this year, some of this... I haven't worn yet because I kind of wanted to share it with you guys. So, when you know you're buying good trainers, it's always a sign when you get like a nice bag. Now, this isn't a bag for your pair of trainers. This is a bag per trainer, or in this case, boots. In fact, this one, I've got, I've got four. Why have I got four bags? I, I know why I got four bags. So I'm going to give you a bit of a story. So when you get to go to like Louis, Louis Vuitton, if you're going to Le Boutin or any kind of like high fashion boutique, like Balenciaga as well, when you go in there, they're going to give you champagne. They're going to give you, they're going to build a rapport with you. It's not like, yo, you've got these in size 11. They go out the back, they radio a guy upstairs, they bring them down, bang. Like you become a client, you're not a customer anymore, you're a client. So that person's gonna like one-on-one -on -one basis know you. Do you want a drink, do you want a water, do you want a sparkling water? <sighs> no, I want bubbles, but I want champagne. So they'll bring out the champagne for you. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen here so you can have an example of like what they kind of do. Um, but then I think I think they gave me two extra bags because I got a quite a good rapport with this guy. And the great thing is like, I'm at a stage now where like I go in, I know the guys, and like they'll, they've got like my WhatsApp. So whenever a sale comes on or new stuff comes out, like the thing like what I love about Louboutin is something will come out and it's country exclusive or something will come out and it's like, it's only there for that week. So once it's gone, it's gone. 
yeah? So your trainers are always gonna hold their value or increase in value because it's very rare that you're gonna get the same thing. On the flip side, I'm gonna teach you another trick which is great for the game. So stay to the end of the video for that. But let's take a look at these. So, oh, smell, smell that, smell. Smell that suede, the leather. You got the spikes on the front. Look at this sole, dead stock. Haven't even been worn. Look at these. Look beautiful. And also, you get like another bag here. Take a look at this. Can you see that? And this here will have some spare spikes. I don't know if you can see these. You can't. In fact, let's get them all out. How many did you get? Here's a question. Two. There's like five in here, but because they're, they're spiked, they're stuck to the side. Anyway, you get a nice lock bag of that. So, I don't even know how much I paid for these. These were like £1,070, I think. So these, this particular pair is called, can you see? The Melon Spikes Flat Calf something in French. Anyway, these boots, I can tell you right now, they were love at first sight. I literally looked at them, put them on, and like, I liked them when I was on the shelf. When I put them on my foot, I had to have them. And the crazy story about these is we went there, um, we went there and we got, um, like they gave us great service. We got champagne um, on arrival. And they didn't have my size in that particular store. So what they ended up doing was getting a, paying a courier to bring my size from a, like from a completely different store. While I was there, they refilled my champagne, you know, like they just hung out with us. They showed us around the store. And uh, yeah, by that time, 20 minutes, half an hour later, a few more champagnes later, bang, they were my trainers. So, not my trainers and my boots. So they were a recent addition to the family. Another one, as you can see, I'm taking the seals off on these. Now these, if these are the ones that I think they are, they are, so again, on this one, what's in here? We've got another bag here. We've got two bags in this. So this one is just, what boots are these? Oh, I forgot I got these trainers. Okay, so I forgot I even bought these. Shit, son. So these, oh, smell those. Look at the soles. I actually, I'm thinking where, why are these got spikes? That means I'm missing a pair of shoes. Look, dead stock, like look how clean that is. Dead stock. I'm missing a pair of boots. That's how much of a problem I've got. Like, you know when you're like, you have so many of something, you don't know where you put them. Anyway, these are sick. So anyway, Crazy one about this is I saw these on Instagram and I remember tagging Jade with like, yo, and I wasn't sure. Now I wear like, I'm navy everything, like navy jeans. I don't, I've never really, it's only like the last year I've got into black or maybe since I met Jade. Jade, I think is an undercover, I think Jade, an undercover goth. She wears a lot of black. She thinks she's a rock star. She's next door. Anyway, yeah, like, I've always just wore navy, but these, and I don't like suede because again, like I said, in England, it's always raining, yeah? Whenever you like, you put on a crisp, dope suit or outfit, you'll go outside and it could be sunny and then next thing you know, it's gonna rain. Anyway, these 
were a result. See, this is where they're clever giving you the champagne because as a result of them going to take the half hour to Corey or something, keep me in the store, give me champagne. These came and he goes, oh, you know, we've got these in. They're only exclusive for this week only. So there's not going to be hardly anyone with these trainers on. Now I want you to tell me if you've seen someone with these on, because if you have, I don't believe you. Yeah. Anyway, um, because of that exclusivity, like, I was like, Wah, give me some of that. So, yeah, but I was 50-50. And then, yeah, like, I tried them on. <sighs> right, game over, like, game over over they've got that red carpet the contrast of that on the carpet was sick and i like that it's got the white here so yeah again you've got your trainer bag i've just got like yeah so what was in the second bag what's in here so in the other bag we've got spare spikes oh laces so as you can see they come with like a navy lace these are come with a navy lace i'm going to keep the navy laces in because as soon as you get like white if you like if you've ever been to london or if you're from london like the underground is the messiest place in the world so you could like a like some fucker's gonna tread on your feet and b it's just dirty under there like you can wear something white and you go downstairs and it's just like you've come out of a fire so anyway i won't be wearing the white laces i'll definitely be keeping them. i think these are subtle as well let me know what would you do in the comments let me know would you keep the navy laces in or would you put the white in or like you might be that guy or girl that is like well what i would do is make out i've got two pairs of trainers i might do that as well you know <laughs> or maybe it just depends on what i'm wearing but i'm kind of worried now because where are i have another box somewhere i've got these boots i want to show you i found them maybe i gotta do another thumbnail oh, lubes like there's a pile of lubes over there maybe i gotta do another thumbnail because um then i can get both bags in anyway these how long they've been there for that dust <laughs> anyway these like i don't know if i'm the only person here like i might see something really like it want to wear it but because i like it so much i'm scared of wearing it because i don't want to ruin it maybe it's just me maybe it's because i grew up like kind of poor so you don't really you're not really into any of that anyway so next lubes I think I get the theme now. Anyway, next lubes. Um, well, these came. Let me see your thoughts on these. Dust bag again. Now these are Chelsea boots. So I brought these like in the back end of the winter. Look, as you can see, look how shiny that is. This is dead stock. Not only is it dead stock, You can still see the stickers on there. <laughs> like, look at these bad boys. So I've been like trying to get a pair of Chelsea boots for ages. I never really knew if they suited me, but I think you, every guy's got to have a Chelsea boot in the locker, yeah? So this is my Chelsea locker. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna do it, you'll do it right. So this is my Chelsea boot. Let me know your thoughts on this. So it's like a camel color. Um, Samson, can you see that? The Samson flat. Cruster. These are my Chelsea boot. Um, I think like, let's not like go into the price. I don't really want to go into the price. Actually, yeah, let's tackle this. So before people talk, talk about, oh, the price of these shoes are ridiculous, yeah? What I want to kind of um, go over is the justification of the price. In my world, this is why I feel that it's perfectly fine to have heat on your feet and that they're gonna be cool. So number one, I think whether you're a guy or girl, the first thing you do is you'll judge someone by their face and then you'll judge them by their feet. And then everything in between is a is like a detail that isn't really, is irrelevant, yeah? So, like, one of my big fashion tips, like, I, this is why I think that you should always have, like, great, great shoes, especially if you're a woman, yeah? Like, you can wear a pair of Louboutins and then just, like, a Zara dress, 
like a, you could wear like a 30, 50 pound Zara dress. But you just wearing those lubes, everyone's gonna then think that that Zara dress is like Dolce & Gabbana or something. Like, it just levels up the look. It just levels up the look. I would say like, get a nice belt, get a nice watch and nice shoes, then the bits in between, irrelevant. Like, that's why one of the main reasons I'm cool with that. I'm cool with paying that extra for on feet. Another reason is the whole thing I explained earlier about Yeezys. A Yeezy trainer is 160 or 180 pound pair of trainers. For me to spend, I don't mind paying 200 quid. I kind of begrudge paying like 250. Not because I can't afford 250, because as you see, I'm buying like 1,000 pound pair of shoes, yeah? It's more like, don't take the piss out of me. Like, don't do that. Like, if I know it costs 180 pound, I wanna buy it for 180 pound. Whereas I know these, this is gonna cost a 1,000 pound. They cost a 1,000 pound, cool. That's what they're worth, I'll pay for it. By the way, uh, these are the ones that fell. So like, these weren't a lot, these were like, 690 590 they are the louis junior spikes flat view because i think they're what they're made out of yeah but guys like that's number two did i say number two if not this is the third point or this is the next point i'm going to talk to you about something called or how i judge things and that is your price per wear okay now what you think, what is that you're asking me? I know you are, I know, what the, f what is he talking about? Okay, so, for example, everyone needs a Chelsea boot in their life. My Chelsea boots there, that are like a thousand pound, they're gonna last me the next 10 years. Because number one, Louis Vuitton, not sorry, not Louis Vuitton, that's a completely different video. If you wanna see that one, let me know, cause I've got loads of that stuff too. Le Boutin will, once you buy these trainers, you see where you've got extra spikes and stuff like that? If any of your spikes ever fall off or anything goes wrong with the shoes, you send them back to their shop, we take them back, and what they will do is they'll fix them free of charge, like they all have a warranty. So if anything ever goes wrong with those spikes, the trainers or anything like that, they'll fix them for you. And I've seen it happen to people where like the heel's gone a bit loose and they've taken them straight away and either exchanged them a year down the line, or they've just fixed them up and like they've come out as new. You would think like, I'm like, did they actually ex fix them or did they exchange them without you knowing? So your pound per wear or your price per wear is always on a high-end trainer, gonna be sick. If you buy like a, sh like a normal pair of trainers, like Nikes, for example, once you wear them a handful of times, man, they start to just buckle, they start to fall down, they start to be rubbish, like, and they're not getting you anywhere. Everyone's got those trainers. So you're paying for exclusivity. You're paying for quality. Like anytime I pick up a pair of these trainers, you can smell straight away like they're just different gravy. Um, and then the price per wear. So you can wear these things for years, for years, get away with it. And you're just like, the more you wear something, yeah, the cheaper it gets. And what I mean by that is, if I wear something a hundred times, then I've got my money's worth out of it. And I'm gonna give you some examples of that right now. So, the, these are another pair. You just saw the um, the Navy Louis cuffs. Well, these are a pair of my first Louis calf. Now, something to note. I think I got these in like 2012 or 2013. I think I got them in 2012. For reference, it's 2019 now. The leather still smells crisp. They're still on point. You can see from the inside, like, you can see at the edge around there, you can probably see that they're worn, but they're not actually like dirty. Like you can see in, you can see, like you still got the Paris in there. If you look at the bottom, like these have been worn, like these have been worn. And I think I got these in like 2012 for like 590, I think they were. Let's put that into context. I have worn these, like obviously at one point, this was my only pair of lubes, yeah? And you know when you get your first pair of lubes, you do that, that lube walk where like you lift your knee up at the back so everyone can see the red bottom. Like these got rinsed for like the first two years, yeah? And I still wear these down to today. Like I still wear these depending on my look. So I've had these for seven years. So when you look at that 590 pound over seven years, like a Yeezy's not gonna do that. Uh, 
a there's many trainers and this these these have been to me to the club these have been with me these have been my work trainer for a while they've been my club trainer they've been my just go out on the pool trainer these have been through me these have been through thick and thick with me they've been to they're my they're my vegas trainer so these money's worth copped i'm going to show you another pair so i don't know if you're either going to love or hate these but these are my boat shoes these are my loot the boot on now these are busted like these are look at the bottoms like even the Louboutin is faded from them because I think I got these in like 2013 I'm gonna tell you now these have had like at one point these were my designated you got the spikes around the side on the front you got a flat look you see these are a comfortable as heck yeah but I, re I remember, like, I think one summer I wore these every single day. Like, I want them to work, I want them out, I want them everywhere. Because they just go with everything. Like, you wear a nice, like, um, tapered jean or a trouser or a chino. These are mad. And you feel like you own a yacht. Like, these trainers make you feel like you own a yacht. Like, rough. And I... And, if I'm honest, those I got from a press launch. I got a press party. Like those, I paid like two hundred pound for something like that. Like when it comes to pound per wear, yeah. So let's just say these cost five ninety, five hundred ninety pounds. My pound per wear, I've worn them more than five hundred and ninety times. So that means like they're less than a pound per wear. Yeah. These, I think, I got basically. There's like a Every year, I don't know if Louboutin want people to know about this, but every year they'll bring um, people out to like a press launch, like obviously members of the press, um, when they're bringing out a new line and they'll invite you in. It's like select people. You don't have the box. The only, the only thing with those is you don't get the box, yeah? Um, you get the bag, you get like the duffel bag, but you, uh, not the duffel bag, you know, the, the dust bag. So you get the dust bag, but you don't get the box, yeah? And they lay them out all in size order and yeah it's a fight like people are fighting each other for trainers for shoes and i so i got a couple of pairs that i would have never bought from a shop but i'm so glad i did i would have bought them for like retail price because i would have bought something else on the shelf but because they were so cheap and they were there and like i've got size 11 so they're really hard to get size 11s for like um designer trainers i literally just got them with well i'm here now i've got to, i want to go home with something so, and these was one of them so for like i paid 200 pounds i even paid less than that which means like my pound per wear for that is probably like i'm probably like 10 p wear for these yeah speaking of which another pair of trainers i've got at that event are these like you're gonna you're, you're you're either looking at your screen going what the hell is this dude on or you're looking at the screen going they are fire as anything so like gold at the back this here this is like fur like i'm stroking it forward i'm stroking it back yeah like this these are fire but i only really wear these if i go like vegas like these are like a vegas trainer like you don't wear these in london people think you're weird like when you go to like vegas this is just normal like you blend in like and they're a loop bang like they're comfy as hell so effectively the louis calf if you see the black ones and you see the navy ones I got earlier and you see these, they're all the same, like they're from the same family. So yeah, like they're all from the same family. So like, I know that they fit, I know they're gonna be cool. Um, but yeah, like they're just all different designs of the same thing. So like, I have those. Um, real quick, while we're talking about um, price per wear, I'm gonna move over to these Balenciagas I've got because in terms of price per wear, these black on black socks, they look battered, don't they? Check my channel out. Like one of the first videos on the channel, I think like 2017 is on these. It's, I think this was like at the time, this video I did on these got like my most views. Um, it's like 2000 views or something on the video and I was so gassed. But yeah, these trainers have not only gone through the mill, they've gone everywhere. You can dress these trainers up, you can dress them down, you can wear them with a tracksuit, you can wear them with like, um jeans you can wear them like as work you can wear them on holiday you, like if i've ever got on a plane i've worn these um you can i've walked miles in these i think these were five seven five my pound per wear is like 2p on these like i've literally literally 
these guys, if I lost, like, you know, sometimes you buy something and if you lose it and you've only won like twice, you want to cry. Like these, if I lost them tomorrow, I'd be like, rest in peace, guys. We had a good life. These are like your dog, like, you know, your favorite dog. Like, it'd be like my dog died if I was taking to those. Just because, like, they've just been everywhere. They're just so versatile. They're the most versatile trainer I've ever had. Anyway, back to the brand, Lebutin. And guys, I want your comments. I want you to like, tell me in the comments what are your thoughts. What are your thoughts on pound per wear or price per wear? Like, you know you like that, don't you? You know you like. So next time you're thinking about, oh, do I want to buy this? Do I not want to buy this? What's going to be your pound per wear? Like, hundred pound t-shirt. I'm going to wear it once. Hundred pound pound per price per wear. If I'm going to wear it five times, twenty pound price per wear. Oh, it's justifiable now. If you're going to wear it like a hundred times, it only costs you a quid. That's why I look at it. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to boots. So I've got a couple of pairs of boots. So obviously the whole thing with the bootings is the spikes. So if you look at these, these have got the spikes all over the, the sides. <coughs> look at the inside, you've got the Lebuton emblem. These are pretty cool. I've worn them a few times, but my pound per wear isn't the greatest out of these. Just because I feel like these are like, these are a statement piece. Um, yeah, you like sometimes when you go out, you want to be seen, sometimes you don't. If you want to be seen, you wear these. So, again, these come with me, Vegas. Um, same as the <coughs> the leopard print because they're like that whole um, this is what we do in Vegas. But then this pair, so this is like they're not the same. So, these are like the Louis calves, but they're like in a boot. So you see the front of them, whereas these are more of a square toe. So I don't even know what these are called, but not only they dead stock, I've had these since, oh, they still smell so good, smell that. I've had these 2014, 15 maybe. <coughs> I don't know, I've had these for a while, but these haven't been worn, which is a shame. Like, I feel like I should, but I think what happens, yeah, is like, you can't go wrong with these. These are just black with a white thing. I, I think if they were black and black, <coughs> I'd have probably worn them so much, but I don't know why I haven't worn these. Maybe I need to make a conscious effort to wear them. Anyway, yeah, I got these. These are cool. Next pair. Price, so the pound per wear on those, so these were like over a grand. These were like over a thousand pound at the time retail. Um, price per wear on those. I don't, have I even worn them 10 times? I don't know. But the price per wear on these, I think these were like 790. So the price per wear on those is ching, ching. That sucks. And finally, so I've got like loads of Louis Vuitton bags, I've got Louis Vuitton rucksacks. If you want to see those, let me know, like, and I've got these. So these are another pair, like, what do you get? You even get this letter, this, do you get this with all of them? So this is uh, from Le Boutin, so like, <coughs> it's like a card, it's got their logo on it. Love your red soles. Due to the delicate nature of your red soles, we ask that your shoes be tried on, on carpeted floor. If not, you may not be, like you can't basically return them. Um, thank you for your understanding, Christian Lebutin. Um, so I think I'm finding, so like if you've got a red bag, it's for the shoes and boots. Um, but yeah, look, I got these. I got these, these are called the, They are the dandelion flat. Still got the paper in there. Complete dead stock. Like, do you know when I know I've got these? I've got these. I don't know if you remember, like if you're from the UK, do you remember there was like a trend with these? Like, I don't know if you remember, like, I don't know when this was. This might have been like 2013, 14. I mean 2015 like the patent look was a thing and I remember getting them 
before so like, i got like they were out and i was like raw because they do these like in leather and they were they were sick and then uh what happened was the patent thing started to come on trend so i was like oh boom let me get that that patent thing because i'm sure one day i'll be going somewhere and then like everybody was in the patent gang and then i was like i can't wear these because you're gonna think i'm copying you but i got these before the trend started i was like a trend setter so i've never worn these so like these might even be like my wedding shoe now or something but i don't know like but yeah pounds per wear on these is not great um but yeah they, these are clean like these are clean you can't go wrong this is like this is a tuxedo shoe but the thing is like it's a tuxedo shoe now but when i got them like you just wore jeans and the patent thing was in it's not in anymore like it's it's been and gone now with that said um and you've got your red dust bag of course with the now with that said one thing i'll point out is a lot of these trainers i've i've um like shown you they've not like that they've either gone in and out of fashion or like they've always they're there every year so for example for example these are a summer trainer yeah like this leopard right now the thing is so these like i said i bought like these five years ago plus yeah i got these like five years ago i think i got them like five years ago maybe anyway if you go on the Labutin's website now you'll still be able to get a pair that is like leopard so in theory like if you're not like checking up on my trainer and you're not like oh like that's 2014 summer range or 2017 summer range like you're not gonna know you're just gonna know oh i've got these um similar with the black like if you look at for example these these are on the website um and they might like go in and out of fashion so like we're like when i say fashion i'm talking about like uh spring summer uh winter blah blah, blah. um and there might just be like a very subtle change which is like a stitch or something like that which if you don't know then you can wear these for the next like i'm telling you now in 10 years time this will still be like a run this design will still be a run in the boot yeah and them train some of these trainers now will soon be coming up to their 10 year anniversary and i can still wear them on the street and no one will be going their old trainers so with that said this is why you invest 500 pounds 700 pound 900 pound or 1200 pound which is what they cost yeah any one of those price points you justify it yeah and don't go to um in my opinion don't go to the selfridges one i feel like the customer service in the selfridge one is um it's not the best i've fed it back to the people in the the um like the boutiques um like in the boutique you'll get some champagne you'll get chatted to they'll talk to you like no one's like when you walk in like nine times out of ten i'm walking in a tracksuit buying the bootings or some ripped jeans and no one's ever turned their nose up on me and they've like they think i'm a millionaire when i walk in the shop i can assure you i'm not not yet anyway um and they give you the most immaculate service and that's why you walk out and buy in the selfridges store you don't get that like they look at you like you're in the way um they don't really want to go and check your size for you they haven't been the greatest so but that's an isolation and i like i said i've been buying lubes for years like like i said since like 2012 yeah i've run a long time and that hasn't changed in selfridges for some reason the staff there have always been shocking but uh credit rates due in the actual stores they're amazing yeah that's my take on it in the stores they're absolutely amazing um credit where it's due if you ever go to any of their boutiques around london um and actually i think i've got one of these pairs in paris as well like if you've gone abroad um paris the service has been great um london the service has always been great you get your champagne you get to the like the guys are just so like you feel bad like personally i feel bad like because they're like they're serving you they're on their knees they're like um, i feel bad but they're so 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 good if you can get into this you're never going to want to just wear a pair of nikes or anything like that again um i wear boost because they're comfortable um, i've always been an adidas fan from when i played football they used to sponsor me when i was younger um but now it's all about that or now it's always been about that high high life but yeah this is my addiction
that's my confession to you. I'd love to know your thoughts. If you want to see more sneakers and more designer trainers and stuff on the channel, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Please leave a like. If you're not subscri subscribed yet, please do. Because this is going to be, this is such a versatile channel. There's so much going on. But yeah, when we go out to eat, we're going to be eating good. We're going to be looking good while we eat. But yeah, for me, from now, peace out. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.